Hi and welcome to another Sega Genesis Mega Drive Programming Masterclass. Today we're going to look at what sound drivers are available for the SGDK and how we can use them. So this is a list of the seven sound drivers presently available in the SGDK. I'm going to briefly go over the first six and then do a coding demo of the XGM driver last. The first driver is the Z80 PCM driver, a single channel 8-bit signed sample driver which takes samples between 8 and 32 kilohertz. This driver has no volume control. The second driver is the Z80 2AD PCM driver. It's a dual channel 4-bit AD PCM sample driver. The sample rate is 22.050 kilohertz. There is no volume control for either of the channels on this driver. The third driver is the Z84 PCM driver a 4-channel 8-bit signed sample driver. The sample rate for this driver is 16 kHz and it does for the first time feature a volume control. Each channel can be controlled over 16 levels. The fourth driver is the Z80 MVS driver. Now I know very little about the MVS driver. All I really know is that it was originally for the Neo Geo MVS system and then later ported by Ivan to the MD. Um, the MVS format is a mystery to me, but if you fancy a play with it, then Pascal's website has a link to the MVS tracker, which you can download and have a play with. The Z80 TFM driver plays TFM files created in a tracker by Shuru, hopefully got his name right. Um, the tracker has been discontinued, so I don't know how many people actually use this driver. This is the Z80 VGM driver, which plays VGM files, and was written by Sigflup and Cubulus1. I apologise if I got that name wrong. Now, Sigflup is very well known in the Mega Drive dev community, and has released a couple of her own cartridges, which are extremely impressive, so I recommend you check out her channel, or at least search for her on YouTube. The Z80 XGM driver is a, an extended VGM music player driver, written by Steph. It is 100% Z80 processor based, and supports both the FM and PSG sound chips of the Mega Drive. It allows up to four PCM channels using 8-bit signed 14 kHz samples to be played at once. It also supports sound effects in PCM format with 16 priority levels and the files that the driver produces are actually smaller than VGM files in terms of resource. So in this next section I'm going to show you how to create a XGM file from a VGM file. So for this demo, there's an expectation you've already installed the SGDK. So we want to look at a subfolder of the SGDK called bin. Now this contains a tool called XGM tool, which we can use to either optimize VGM files or create XGM files. I've dropped a Xmen VGM into the bin folder already. So we type XGM tool followed by the name of the file, which in this case is Xmen VGM followed by the file we want to convert it to. So we can type either Xmen XGM or VGM at the end of this, depending on what we want to do. And there we go, all done, one XGM file. So now you know how to create an XGM file, I'm gonna show you how to include and play one in a SGDK project. So on the left hand side of the screen, we have our project already set up in Coblox, and on the right, we have the project folder structure. And we're gonna look in the res folder. Now the res folder is for resources, so as you can see we've got a folder called background. This contains the background image we're going to import into the ROM. So it's a very simple image which we'll just have a quick look at. Simple, it's just a 16 color PNG file. It's going to act as a background. So in the XGM folder we have the XGM file which we created earlier. And in order to get these into ROM we have two files called res files. Now the graphics res file contains the graphics, as obvious. So we have the type, which is image, the reference, the location, and the type of compression we're using. And again in music.res, we have the type of file, which is XGM, the reference, and where the file actually is. So we're gonna add these resource files to the project. Very simple to do. There we 
we go. That one. There we go. Now we'll do the other one for the music. All done. So we've got our res files in our project all set to go. Right, so now we're going to go with the code. Very simple. So first we disable the interrupts, then we set the screen width, then we put that image from earlier as the background. As you can see, there's the reference we were using, which is here. Then we re enable the interrupts. Then we put the number of tiles that that border took and place that into end. Then we set the number of loops we want for the XGM file. And then we play the XGM file, which literally is referencing the reference in here. So there we go. And now it's time to build the ROM. I think it's worth mentioning that you need to make sure that you have graphics.h and music.h at the top of this file as they reference the resources that we've put into the res files and allow us to use them and compile them in the ROM. So the ROM's all compiled, let's take a look at it. Oh, black screen, never good. So that ends the first lecture on the SGDK sound drivers. Hopefully you learned something from it. Feel free to share and like this video and put any questions you have in the comments. And if you want to help me improve the quality of these videos, feel free to sponsor me via Patreon.